What is good, YouTube? Double Civic back another video. This is going to be a quick video, and it's just going to be a discussion on is it worth modifying your 10th gen Civic? Cosmetically, I think 100%. Um, I absolutely love how my car looks. If you don't, I don't care. I don't build my car for you, I build it for myself. And everyone needs to remember that. Don't build your car for what you think people will like or what people want to see. Build it for yourself. Now, there's a lot of stupid things people do to their cars that I don't like. But once again, that is my opinion. So this is going to be talking about the engine um, and, you know, performance. If you have a 1 point or 1.5 turbo, this is going to be mostly for you. If you have a 2.0 non-turbo, I'm sorry, but any engine mods is a waste of money. You can't pull much power out of a NA 2.0, you know, just that's just how it is. So I'm going to quickly show you guys what I have done and tell you what it is. PRL turbo inlet to a PRL Cobra intake with a race math. Skunk to down pipe and front pipe. Intercooler and my K-tuner. So that's roughly about $2,500 worth of engine mods. Does it make your car faster? Yes. Is your car faster off the line? Yes. Is your car more fun to drive? Yes. In my opinion, is it worth it? No. I think you can put that money to much better things. Um, you know, with cars coming out these days, cars stock are, you know, literally like cars you wouldn't even care about or think have more power and will smoke this car and I'm not talking about you know anything like 5.0 Mustangs or anything like that there's literally cars that are just coming out that have 300 horsepower you know 350 and are just your normal everyday cars so do I think it's worth it no I do not I think you could put $2,500 into a lot of other things you can bag your car for $2,500 if you do the manual option you can you don't do that you get a carbon fiber hood carbon fiber fenders you know you can do so much to your car for twenty five hundred dollars and i'm not saying this to try to have anybody not modify it you know i'm obviously modified my car a lot i've had this car modified engine wise is what we're talking about four times when i've went back to stock and do you miss it oh, absolutely but, and that's why I come back to this because I miss the power. But once I get back to that point, I'm like, man, in my head, my car was a lot faster than I remember. And then I'll mod it and I'm like, damn, it's not as fast as I thought, you know? And if you have a CVT like me, you're gonna run into issues modifying it. I haven't ran into anything major, thank God. Um, you know, but pushing it past what I have now, that's asking for trouble. Doing a big turbo, doing flex fuel, doing anything like that, that's gonna be major issues. And that's why I'm keeping it how it is and I'll probably sell all the engine stuff at some point again, just to, you know, put that money to something else. But yeah, in my opinion, it is not worth modifying the engine and the 1.5 turbo. Like I said, my opinion. I'm not talking on, you know, Stuff that I don't know considering it is modified and I know what went into it and where it's at um, like I said it's fun it's fast I mean you know depending on what you think is fast but to me this is a pretty fast car it gets up and goes and you know I'm happy with it but I would suggest putting your money into other things but yeah that'll be it for today's video I appreciate all the uh, Love on all the videos, you guys have been killing it and, you know, trying to get up to 200 subs. We're at like 155 right now. So yeah, appreciate everything guys. And coming up this week, there's gonna be a uh, big mod coming for this car that I just can't wait for. But, oh yeah, and I need to put the carbon hood on still over there. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and peace out.